Little Fox. Cinderella, Episode One: A Kind Girl. Once upon a time, there was a very kind girl. Her name was Ella. She lived happily with her father. Ella had fine clothes and jewelry. She had a big room with a warm, cozy bed, and there was always plenty of food. One day, Ella and her father were walking in town. Wonderful smells came from the bakery. Let's get a treat, father said. Ella saw a young beggar sitting in the town square. That poor boy, Ella said. Father, can we please get something for him? Father smiled warmly. You are very kind, Ella. Father bought some bread. Ella gave it to the boy. Thank you, Miss. The boy said. A few days later, Ella saw Father in the garden. You look happy, Father. She said. Father laughed. <laughs> I have exciting news. I met a lovely lady. Father said. We're going to get married. Ella gasped. <gasps> Father, I'm so happy for you. A week later, Father got married. Ella's new stepmother had two daughters. The older daughter was tall and thin. The younger one was short and plump. It's nice to meet you, Ella said. The two daughters smiled. So did their mother, but there was a nasty look in her eyes. Cinderella, Episode Two: Sad News. Ella's father was on a hunting trip. One morning, stepmother woke Ella. Get up, lazy girl! She snapped. I have some news. Your father is dead. <gasps> Ella gasped. <gasps> Tears filled her eyes. Oh no! She cried in pain. <laughs> father, my poor father. <sighs> After that, nothing was the same. Ella was still kind and polite, but stepmother was now mean. Stepmother gave fancy dresses to her daughters. <laughs> Ella wore ugly old rags. The stepsisters slept in soft feather beds. Ella slept on a hard bed made of straw. Gert napped all day long. Trudy ate all day long. But stepmother made Ella work. 
she scrubbed, swept, and mopped. Pretty little Ella, stepmother said. You think you're better than we are. You think you're prettier, too. No, I don't, Ella said. You're my family now. I love all of you. Ugh, stepmother sneered. You're too nice. Go and make my lunch. And tend the fire again. I don't want my daughters to catch a cold. Ella liked to sit near the fire. She remembered her days with father. I miss him so much, she thought. The stepsister saw Ella by the fire. Trudy giggled. <laughs> You're covered in ashes. Ella likes ashes and cinders, Gert said. Let's call her Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella, Episode 3, A Royal Message. The next morning, a trumpet blew loudly. A royal messenger! Stepmother cried. Stepmother and her daughters ran outside. Cinderella wiped her hands on her apron. Then she followed them. I wonder what the message is, she thought. A big crowd was outside. The royal messenger sat on a horse. He held a long piece of paper. Ahem, the messenger said. This is a very important message. The prince is hosting a ball. All fine ladies in the kingdom are invited. Oh! <laughs> Several ladies said at once. Cinderella's stepsisters clapped with delight. We're going to the prince's ball, Gert cried. Trudy's eyes lit up. This is so exciting, she said. Maybe the prince will ask me to marry him. Gert snorted. No way, Trudy. The prince will fall in love with me. I'm beautiful and tall. Trudy put her hands on her hips. Well, I'm beautiful and plump. Girls, girls, stepmother said. You're both beautiful. A ball, Cinderella said softly. There will be music and dancing. It will be so much fun. Ha <laughs> ha, Cinderella. Stepmother laughed loudly. <laughs> You're not going to the ball. You are not a fine lady. Cinderella, Episode 4, Getting Ready for the Ball. The stepsisters kept talking about the ball. I will wear my favorite jewels, Gert said. I'm going to dance with the prince, Trudy said. Humph, Gert said. The prince won't dance with you. He'll be too busy dancing with me. Girls, girls, stepmother said. The prince will dance with both of you. How do you know? Trudy asked. Stepmother had a wicked grin. The prince is looking for a wife, so he will dance with all the ladies. Trudy and Gert clapped with delight. <laughs> You both must impress him, stepmother said. Then he'll want to marry one of you. And I can move to the palace. Ha 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 
Later, stepmother found Cinderella. You must make pretty gowns for my daughters. Everything must be perfect. Cinderella made two beautiful gowns. The stepsisters put them on. I look lovely, Trudy said. I look lovely too, Gert said. Trudy looked at Cinderella. Poor Cinderella, she whispered. You will miss the ball. Stepmother spun around. Hush, Trudy. Cinderella has work to do, she yelled. She will stay home and scrub floors. At last, it was the night of the ball. Goodbye, Cinderella, the stepsisters called. Tears slipped from Cinderella's eyes. She began to sob. <laughs>